All right, something really embarrassing happened. I felt good before I found this information out, and now I'm not sure how I feel about myself in the future. And that might sound dramatic, but I really don't think it is. I'll, 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 I'll get to the point. Just let me build up to it a little bit. So, uh, you ever have like confidence for just a brief moment and you find like a really good reason to not be confident? Like, say you thought you looked real good in your new outfit at school and then you, you go to the bathroom, you look in the mirror and there's just spit dribbling down your chin because that is something that happens to me every single day. I don't know what it is about my big lips, but they protrude spit and it just comes out. And Paige, when, pa when Paige edits videos, she will literally send me screenshots of spit dripping down my chin. I felt real good. I was playing recoil. I was doing real good. So recoil, uh, I was, this isn't like a recoil, this isn't like a gameplay video or anything like that. So don't be alarmed. Don't click off yet. But uh, this is like a really good like Call of Duty remake. Like listen, listen to the sounds here. It's got like voice acting. It's got like, look at that. It says contact at 12 o'clock, meaning the dude's right in front of me. So yeah, you, you get some kills. You quite literally just, I just, you know, that was somebody's life that I just ended. You know, it's kind of sad if you, if you like really think about it a lot. But it's a good game. So I'll probably put like seven, anywhere from seven to 10 hours on this game within the past like two days that I found it. All right, so I'm on a uh, brand new account right now, Bouncy Dog Funeral. So I'm gonna join this game, Recoil. And then, uh, I'm, okay, my, I, I'm gonna guess I'm probably gonna get a 20 to 30 kill streak. Like, I will kill 20 to 30 people without dying once. All right, so we got full lobby. The game is about to start. Uh, all right, one down. Get that guy. All right, got, oh, get that guy. Uh, get these guys. Oh, God. All right, get that guy. Get that guy. All right, get that little idiot. Call it an actual nuke. Boop. All right, get all four of those guys. Oh God. All right, so right now I've killed 27 people without dying. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm just good, you know? Or am I? Because I'm the only one in the server. All these people are bots. Look, look at these. Why aren't they killing me? Kill me. They literally have bots in this game to make you feel good about how disgustingly trash you are at this game. Guys, I got a 67 kill streak a couple, like a few hours ago, and I felt so good about myself, but I'm, I was the only one in the server. This is a multiplayer game, but what they do is if you have, that's why I said, I look, I'm just some gamer god. Wow. Whoa, look, I'm dodging bullets. They're not killing me because they're designed to not kill you. Look at this. Look at this. I'm literally running by all of them. They're designed to miss pretty much everything. Look, I just won a badge saying they can't hide. The robots, like when the robot uprising happens, when the government just releases robots onto all of us to kill us, they're gonna see I have that badge and they're gonna take that as a threat. Earlier when I found that out, I, cause I was like, whoa, I'm really good. I have a 60 kill streak. Cause look, look at me. Why would I not think I'm some type of God? I everybody just missed me. I had so much confidence. I was, I was gonna start like, and then I started getting fishy, like, I, like suspicious. So I was like, why isn't anybody killing me? I'm not this good, am I? And I clicked that and I'm like, oh my God, I'm the only one here. If you play long enough in this game, it starts putting you in regular servers. So it's like, when I first started playing this game, you know, I, I was in full gamer god mode. Then like after a couple hours, like everyone's like, it was really hard. Like everyone started getting really good. So I think I've already explained this, but they do that. So you like, you know, you start off, you're playing really good. Like you, you, you want to keep playing because you're doing so good. Like everybody sucks at this game and you're going to go pro. You're gonna win millions of dollars playing Fortnite. Then once you get in the actual servers and like everybody's just destroying you, you're like, what happened? What, like, why am I not good? But because you want to get back that feeling of being this good at a video game, uh, you just keep playing. I discovered this, like, not just because I pressed escape, 
But I started again really suspicious because like I was playing on a new account because people kept finding uh like the Mr. Flim Flim account was playing this game. So I was like, you know, I kind of want to just want my space right now. Some dude kept following me to every server and he started like standing in front of my sniper and it was really annoying. I was like, wow, I'm, I'm really good at this video game again because it was a new account. And then that's when I checked and saw that it was only me in that server. Like I sent this game to Jake and I was like, dude, this game's good and everyone sucks. And he, he told me, he's like, dude, I immediately got an 11 kill streak. And I said it to my other friend, Laughability, and like, he's been playing this. And I told him that was all bots and he had no idea either. So it's like, probably, this probably goes over every single person's head. Because now that I have, because on Mr. Flim Flim, I've played a lot. So now it doesn't put me with the bots anymore. I wonder what other Roblox games, this is, this is like the main point of the video. All right. All right. Real people now. And why did it made the bot talk? It made the bot laugh. In Spanish. Why did it do that? Now the game's hard, dude. Forgot now. Like, are there still bots in this game? Is that little idiot right there? Cool guy iCarly. I'm calling you out directly for not being good at this game. Are you a bot? Is that person a bot? Because what Fortnite does? Because there's so many, like... There's so many people that literally play Fortnite, like, 10 hours a day. They made... They put bots in the Fortnite game. So like, so people can actually get kills who don't play all day. Like I only get kills on bots in Fortnite. See like, what if you just had a bot that looked like a normal player running around, just kind of like, if, if someone says trust rate, just 20 seconds later, they're just like, Hey, wait, wait don't trust rate, this is a scam. Like Adopt Me makes so many millions of dollars they could do that. They could just, they could make such a realistic looking bot. I mean, those, that, that, uh, recoil game, it's not nearly as big as Adopt Me. And they have really, really realistic bots that shoot you. ABC to trust rate. <gasps> me, 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 me. Declined? ABC! Try again. Oh my god, dude. Just scam me. I'll go first. Dude, people even ignore me when I'm literally offering them free items. Am I invisible? ABC! Bro, you first. Yes, that's- I'm on the same page as you. I want to trust you. Here, look. Uh, please, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Take these to show my trust. All right. So, look, she's not going to scam me. This is not a cruel world, and she won't scam me. <laughs> she just left. Okay, well, see? That's what trust trade is. Oh, ABC trust trade. Me, 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 me. Me, me, me. You first? Yes. Please, 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 please. Trade was successful. Softball girl sent you a trade. Why would you trade it back? So that's what an actual trust trade is. Decline. You just keep it. I don't care about those. I lost my other ones. I'm jumping off this bridge now. Goodbye, cool world. Why do they have to put water here? See, don't ever do it. Like, why do people, even if they're not going to scam you, why would they do a trust trade? Is it just like the thrill of just... She she could have just like noticed that it was me and just... uh, <laughs> Or maybe she felt bad scamming too high of an amount, but she didn't scam me. So that's what that's supposed to do. Guys, Albert's in the game. So she might have known that was me and that might have been the reason she didn't scam. Because why wouldn't she scam? Why would you do a trust trade if you're not trying to steal from somebody? Like literally, you could create like a whole culture if you have enough bots. If your bots are good enough, you can make them say things. And then you could make those, you can make other people in the game kind of think a certain way. So uh, say like Meep City wanted to try to like cut down on a... I don't know, online dating or something. So, like, if you say date or if you say babe or something like that, like, a couple cool-looking Roblox characters because you only want to look up... You only want to listen to, like, cool people, you know? But you got someone like... What on earth? Okay, well, you got a bully. So, you got someone like that and someone like that. They come up to you and they start going, like, Hey, online dating is whack, dude. Don't do that. And, like... It kind of like programs in your head to not do it. You know what I mean? Meep City is making me mad. <laughs> Maybe you should step away from the computer. You get what I mean? How like the bots could make some people think a certain way. Just like even subconsciously. Just very subtle stuff. Like maybe everyone's wearing like they, they have like five to seven bots in a server wearing like yellow clothes. Maybe people will start to like yellow clothes. Psst. Dude, who just whispered in my ear? Dude, I hate how this... I hate how this game normalizes. <laughs> like, I hate how they put that whispering sound effect. It's like, so like you just spit in my ear. Now I gotta wipe this out. I was having the most fun when I didn't know 
See guys, what you don't know doesn't hurt you. Cause look, am I having as much fun as when I was getting like 60 kill streaks? No, I was really good at this game until I until I wasn't. Look, I almost died from that one guy. I think in all the real game. Oh my god. See. It's hard, man. Here, th the problem was I wasn't using a shotgun. I think first Roblox game to have really realistic bots, I think they will control the world. Like, control, like, the Roblox world. Because, like, okay, you can just make everyone look real cool. And then you can make normal people feel bad for not looking cool. So they buy in-game things to look cool. You know what I mean? Stop! Uh, this is just difficult. But, like I said earlier... I still have no idea how many people are real people in this game. Because, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Alright, I have 8 kills. I don't know how many deaths I have. It's definitely more than more than zero. Bro, I can't even shoot him now. Stop! Stop! Alright, that's a bot. That literally has to be a bot. Kill me. Here, I'll kill you. Rakuev. Alright, no, that was a real guy. He's <laughs> just a noob. See, all those bots need is a, 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 a chat bot like this that just talks back to you. Hi there. Am I loved by my family? I think a lot of people are. <laughs> but am I? Do my viewers deserve pain? Darn it. I think the bot, it tr really tries not to say anything controversial or respond to anything controversial. But Adopt Me has the money to change that. <laughs> Adopt Me should make just a full group of bots that come up to you and just start like, just, just like nitpicking your out outfit. L like if uh, if they went up to Esmeralda, they'd be like, oh, we're <laughs> yeah, I see you've been shopping on the free section of the catalog. Nice one. Like It just gives everyone like confidence issues on Roblox. Um, this is kind of a ranty video. I, I thought it was I thought it had like a, a good place though I just haven't felt that dumb in a while like I feel dumb on a day-to-day -day basis But not on that kind of level where I like regret My playing of this game like I was happier about myself before I started playing this game This game is really good. It'll be linked in the description, but it's like I just question things now So like you know how everybody adopt me hangs out here what if someone, like a game developer, what if a game developer wanted, like, uh, to set, like, a hangout spot? So they put, like, a few bots so, like, people kind of, you know, go to this area because they already see a few people there. You know what I mean? And, like, over here is where all the items are sold. So it's, like, they trying to make this the hangout because, you know, you know, you can buy a bunch of stuff here. But yeah, that's all. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe bots on Roblox will be popular. Maybe you'll online date a bot. How about that?